I used to walk past the river every day and I thought, well, if we could find a theatre story that had the river at its heart, that would be amazing. And I was reminded of our mutual friend and the opening scene of a boatman and his daughter finding a body in the river. I began working with Ian Rickson and then very soon PJ Harvey joined us and we started writing these songs. To be exploring the journey of the river, that excited me. I can't even remember how we got into song. We were thinking of underscore, weren't mm. we? The first workshop we did, Ben got excited about a poem by F.S. Flint. As we were working on this text, it became clear that it was sort of more like the start of lyrics. Polly said, well, I could set that to music. I think I ran upstairs and just had a go at making a song out of it on the piano. And then <laughs> Ben was so excited, then he kept bringing me more sections of text and going, I think this could be a song, and I think this could be a song, and then Quite quickly, we had five or six songs. That was a sort of model for then how we went on working on it. When we got to a point in the story where it felt like a character needed to express something beyond what was being expressed in the scene, we would write a song. That's what we learned as we were working on more songs, wasn't it? The amount of work the song can do for opening an emotional doorway into a character or into what was about to come next. One, two, three, four. You were finding a way of writing something contemporary, but also kind of timeless. London's full of anger. I remember you were very keen on getting a certain type of actor that would suit the way you'd written the songs. I just wanted the rough, raw character, but also the, the rawness of, of the actor's voice. When you sing, you have to kind of reach right into your soul and you're very vulnerable. The new thing for you here is writing big choral songs. Yeah, that was a first for me, having that amount of voices to play with. So I think about simple, strong melodies. Sound-wise, I wanted it to be a mixture of old and new. I wanted a real rawness that the actors could just bear their soul in, and that needed, therefore, the instruments to be really simple, really a bit rough. This play is really about the soul of London, about the river as protagonist. Polly's music captures that. This is the story of a river. This is a story about London. These great ensemble moments, I really do feel like it's the river sort of singing. It begins like this, with the dusk and the storm and the Thames. 